Historically, tracheostomy was used to address any airway obstruction in infants due to a congenital or acquired subglottic stenosis. Subglottic stenosis is a narrowing of the airway at the level of the cricoid cartilage. Airway obstruction due to subglottic stenosis can be visually detected during bronchoscopy when looking down at the larynx. Here is what normal should look like. Note how large to airway opening is. Now take a look at how narrow the airway is with a subglottic stenosis. Due to postoperative morbidity and mortality, the anterior cricoid split has replaced the tracheostomy as the main procedure to resolve subglottic stenosis. The anterior cricoid split procedure is used to correct mild to moderate subglottic stenosis. It requires a single midline vertical incision extending through the inferior thyroid cartilage, and downwards through the cricoid cartilage, and upper two tracheal rings. A cartilage graft obtained from a rib is then shaped to fit into the incision made in the trachea. The graft is then secured with sutures. The airway is re-examined to ensure an adequate airway has been achieved.